the decision making over at Camp Microsoft for the Xbox brand since the Xbox 360 era has ended has been incompetent, has been just dumb, delusional, crazy. What does the Xbox have? <laughs> I don't I, I I don't even know where I want to begin with this video. I really don't. I don't know how I want to, you know, tackle this video, which angle to go in like uh, I think I did a video kind of like this. I don't know if it was earlier this year because I'm starting to lose track of time. Like we all, like we already read the in May now <laughs> for uh, 2023. Uh, I don't know if it was earlier this year or like late last year, but it was about Xbox, and I was talking about you know how you know this year needed to be the year for Xbox, and you know just tired of all the you know stuff that they've been doing and wanting Xbox to do better, like one, like genuinely wanting them to do better and you know be right there with sony wanting them to succeed wanting them to improve wanting the xbox brand to you know be a legitimate uh a uh, rival of sony going into this year none of that stuff is going on <laughs> absolutely none of that stuff that i just said is going on right now if anything actually things are getting worse for these damn suckers over at camp xbox these suckers simply can't do nothing right they can't they can't do nothing right i was actually going to do a video on this when this news came out because this was this was shocking to me that these suckers are actually <laughs> that these suckers actually like are complaining about this when the issue is clear this was one of my favorite games this year hands down i don't even think it's up for a debate at this point the best game that xbox has had this year hi-fi rush a game that i really enjoyed playing this year Xbox was reportedly unhappy with the sales of Hi-Fi Rush. And I'm just thinking like, well, gee willikers, let's see. Damn near every game you drop on Xbox is on Game Pass. The junk wasn't that, you know, big of a game to begin with. There was like no marketing behind High Hi-Fi Rush at all. They literally dropped it the same day that they revealed it. What the freak do you suckers expect? Apparently, this whole Activision deal has gone through. I haven't really been keeping up with, you know, that stuff. But you know how they acquired Activision. You know, my, Microsoft just loves to <laughs> just buy out a bunch of suckers, right? Apparently, that deal has gone through. And, like, it's blocked right now. And I think they're going to, like, court about it or something like that. All I know is right now, I think the UK blocked it. So, it's not like set in stone right now that junk might fall through red fall oh my gosh <laughs> oh my god red fall red fall red fall you suck i mean if if you've been paying attention to this junk red fall looks like one of the biggest flops thus far of 2023 and that was supposed to be, again, one of Xbox's big titles for this year. And I ain't gonna lie, when, when they had showed it, you know, uh, a few months back at, like, the Xbox Showcase, the very first time they showed Redfall, I was like, okay, this looks like a cool game that, you know, might be fun playing with friends. After they showed it the set... After they showed it the second time, I was immediately off the red the, the Redfall train. This junk releases... 
And bro, the stuff that I have been seeing for Redfall, the footage that I've been seeing, the reviews that I've been hearing from, apparently last last I checked, I mean, you suckers care about meta. <laughs> you suckers care about me uh, about Metacritic scores. Oh, you gonna care about this one? Last I checked, the junk is at like a sixty-two on Metacritic. Like literally, suckers are like just sharing stuff about this game that they can't believe how bad it is. Like it's getting so much attention right now because of how awful the game is. <laughs> because of how awful the game is. And like suckers is saying, yo, like what went wrong with Redfall? Oh. <laughs> like all this stuff. Redfall looks like complete dookie water. Suckers is asking for Phil Fencer's job to be snatched. I am I need to ask this question. To Xbox fans. If you are a legit Xbox, how is it that every single year you suckers go into the year not knowing what the frick you suckers got coming? Got a whole bunch of stuff that's in the dark right now. Fable hasn't lit. All these suckers show for Fable was a CGI trailer. Don't know when you get in that. Halo is a shell of itself. Gears of War is a shell of itself. Hellblade 2 has went dark. Don't even know when this junk is dropping. And even with that, like, it's crazy because the first Hellblade was just kind of like, I mean, it wasn't a bad game, but it, but it was kind of like a filler game, like a game that, you know, you played you know, while you wait for the bigger titles to come out. What what does Xbox decide to do? These suckers decide, oh yeah, let's buy, you know, this game. And when the sequel comes out, this is going to be one of our biggest games. Hellblade 2. What does the Xbox have? The one thing that they have, and these suckers better pray. <laughs> that this game delivers is Starfield. This has to be the biggest game for Xbox in years because they have literally nothing else. Xbox in 2023 is strictly a Game Pass machine. Nobody buys an Xbox to actually play Xbox titles. That junk is gone, gone. Nobody is buying an Xbox anymore to play Halo. Nobody is buying an Xbox anymore to play Gears. Nobody even at this point is buying an Xbox to play Forza, 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 Forza. You can play that on freaking PC. The decision making over at Camp Microsoft for the Xbox brand since the Xbox 360 era has ended has been incompetent, has been just dumb, delusional, crazy, <laughs> like... And again, this takes me back to Phil Spencer because Suggins are saying, oh, this is all Phil Spencer's fault. He needs his job taken away. Has Phil Spencer's decision-making, you know, as the head of Xbox, whatever, been questionable at times? Sure. Has some of the stuff that this man has said over the years been questionable at times? Sure. But if Suggins think, like, this is where I stand because Suggins is like almost going at phil spencer like it is this dude's sole responsibility behind all of the stuff that's been going on with xbox for years before phil spencer even took this job and before they they had don <laughs> they had don matrick who infamously said you don't like it stick with the 360. it wasn't like xbox was doing good at that point neither they weren't <laughs> they were not like people are acting like like this junk just started with xbox this has been going on for two console generations now two phil like phil spencer didn't just come in this junk and xbox started crumbling down to the freaking floor we have been talking about this for 10 plus 15 plus <laughs> 15 plus years like 
So even if Phil Spencer's job is taking and they replace, you know, him with someone else, you think that fixes the stuff that's been going on with Xbox? No. What X... I said this on stream. Xbox literally needs to be gutted. <laughs> <laughs> they they lit like the the entire Xbox brand literally needs to be gutted and they need to start over. These suckers have no identity no more. These suckers have no games that if you are a Xbox fan, if you've been supporting them for years now, what game are you excited for? You know, Nintendo got Zelda, they got Mario, and you know, still freaking milked behind games, but they <laughs> but they still have those games. They have Kirby, they have Splatoon, they have uh 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 Bayonetta, they have Astral Chain, which I freaking love. Like Nintendo has stuff, Sony has God of War, they have Horizon, they have Spy they have Spider-Man, they have like they they have something. They have an identity. What is Xbox's identity? They have zero. Zero. Xbox needs to be gutted. <laughs> I I don't know if that means you like completely just fire everybody that's in charge. <laughs> It's fire everybody that's the charge and, and I and I'm trying to get like no suckers you know they a uh, jobs lost especially in these days like it's a struggle out here in these streets but if you really want like to change the culture of what's been going on over at Camp Xbox these suckers truly need to gut everything these suckers need to start over what like what is the end goal for Xbox is it is it this whole play everywhere thing? Cuz that really hasn't really been working all all that well for them over these, you know, few few years. Is it is do you want this junk to be the Game Pass system? I had said this on a, a stream if if a uh, Microsoft keep on going in this direction with with a uh, Xbox, eventually, bro, Xbox going to turn <laughs> <laughs> it probably, it probably, it probably ain't, ain't going to happen. But eventually, these niggas might might turn into Sega. <laughs> because, like, if they keep on going in the direction that they are in, who knows? These, like, these niggas might turn into, like, a, just, like, a service. And just, instead of Xbox, it's called, like, the X Cloud or something. And, like, that's how you play, you know, Xbox games and whatever games that those are. Like, they literally, in my opinion... And I've been, bro, you know, like, I've been making YouTube vids on Xbox for years. I used to be an Xbox fan, bro. Xbox 360 era? I don't care what no one say. Yeah, oh, yeah, over time, play, uh, PlayStation did outsell them still, you know, with PS3s compared to Xbox 360s worldwide. But in that console generation, I ain't never seen someone apply pressure to sony the way that xbox did xbox 360 era was god tier since then i don't know what the frick has been going on over at xbox these suckers need to be gutted they need to start over they need a thanos reset like all that <laughs> all that and more they need all of that because this company all they do is just throw out a whole bunch of money that they think is gonna fix their freaking problems and it doesn't. I remember back in E3, what was that, 2018 or something? These suckers was acquiring all these studios, right? It was like, oh, they joined an Xbox. They joined the, like they joined an Xbox. And at that time, we was like, yo, this is great for Xbox. I don't know like what <laughs> I don't know what game has come out from that. I really don't like this goes deeper than Phil Spencer. <laughs> <laughs> this goes deeper than Phil Spencer. This goes way deeper than just this is a Phil Spencer issue. This is literally like these suckers have lost their identity. They did like 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 they have legit xbox I, I i truly feel like they don't even know what like what they want to do with xbox no more 
Remember the whole thing last gen was well, 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 towards the ending of last gen is how they were the most powerful console ever, right? That looks stupid now because you go into next gen and it's like, well, well do I buy this one? Because this was the most powerful one. <laughs> like just all of the decision making that they have been doing over the years is all like it's almost like they're grasping for something to stick and nothing is sticking. Like they're trying to do the whole game pass thing, you know, and that though is successful. You can't then expect when you know you can play almost every game on game pass for for you know games like high fi fi rush you can't then come out and say oh we're we're kind of disappointed or like like we're disappointed by the sales for this thing what did you expect this is what game pass does like they so 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 they trying to grasp at game pass they they've been trying to grasp at the whole play air the whole play everywhere thing they try they they are trying to take 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 a take a grasp at the most powerful console ever no one gives a freak microsoft at the end of the day bro it's as simple as this it, it's it's really a simple concept this isn't complex you suckers have no games <laughs> like this like this isn't like something you need like a freaking board meeting for and all of you know the xbox guys and gals sitting at like a table and trying to really you know come up with a game plan you suckers have no games you suckers have no identity and even with the games that you do still have today they're nowhere near as good as they used to be Nintendo, and I have said this over the years, Nintendo is kind of in the same bowl as Microsoft. And I mean that because Nintendo literally since like the creation of Nintendo, these suckers, like they're, they're still biggest games. It's freaking Zelda, it's freaking Mario, it's Kirby, it's freaking, you know, like stuff that has been going on for freaking generations, <laughs> literally generations. The only key difference with that though is those games are still great. Such as this freaking looking towards Tears of the Kingdom, like it's going to freaking shape the landscape of the gaming industry. Like it's going to change life for them, right? You go over to Microsoft and with Xbox, they have still every single year, see, well, at every single generation, they, you know, their big thing is Halo still. Their big thing is Gears and Forza, 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 Forza. Out, outside of Forza, I guess. Uh, uh, Halo and Gears have diminished over the years while the Nintendo games have increasingly gotten better or stayed the same level of, you know, qua of, of qua of, of quality. <laughs> my, uh, my, uh, Microsoft games have gone like this. So this is there. There are games that they've been, you know, depending on every single console generation. And Nintendo was going like this while Microsoft is going like this. That is the difference. These suckers cannot rely on the same games that they've been relying on for Xbox, for Xbox 360, for Xbox One, because they're getting worse. And they haven't done anything to replace those said games. This is very simple, I feel like very simple <laughs> they have no games they have no identity their decision making over the years for just how they go about advertising why you need an xbox has been sus like and the fact that a freaking random black man in america has to sit down in front of my messy ass room on my messy ass camera <laughs> and literally break down why like all this stuff going on with xbox right now it just it, it, like it, it, it's getting worse for these suckers you could throw out all the money you want trying to acquire these studios you have no identity none and until you fix that problem replacing phil spencer is going to do nothing this sucker like y'all <laughs> y'all uh know how that a uh, meme where like a president takes 
office and like he comes in like looking young and happy and then after the eight years like this <laughs> like 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 they're all grayed out and wrinkles everywhere this man phil spencer has aged in dog years and it's all because <laughs> working at xbox has to be one of the especially as the head of xbox has to be one of the most stressful jobs Ever. This sucker literally year after year after year has to go on stage, fake a smile, and act like he actually got something exciting to share with Xbox fans. Do you know? <laughs> Do you know how stressful that must be? Knowing damn well, bro, we ain't got nothing. <laughs> but I gotta act excited for this junk. Sarah Bond, honey, if you come across this video, my sweet, sweet sister, you need to get the hell up out of Xbox. You need to get the hell up out, out, out of there before they suck your soul too and you start aging in freaking dog years. Get out of Xbox, Sarah Bond. You deserve better. As uh, they uh, said before, via blacks at Xbox. <laughs> you deserve better. Hell, Phil Spencer deserves better. He does. I didn't think this is the way I would approach this video, but... <laughs> I really did it, but bro, I, bro, I, 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 I'm just letting it flow off the tongue, off the freaking dome. All this stuff that's that's been going on. Yeah, I don't like report on like a lot of Xbox, you know, base news right now because either it doesn't interest me or just like. Ugh. Whatever. I mean, it's another L for Xbox. Moving on. <laughs> so, it's been, but I'm mean, I'm seeing and hearing all about this stuff. And it's just like, I hate to, I really hate that every time I have to talk about something about Xbox, it's never positive. It is always something negative. I I, I really hate that. Like, I want Xbox to do good, bro. I, I really do. And, and the fact that every time I make something that is Xbox related, it's always something like, you know, me just laughing about how bad they are. <laughs> like, it's, 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 it's like... Dog, if you own an Xbox, if you, if you own an Xbox in 2023, bro, get out. <laughs> <laughs> you know that meme when in a get out where like he's trying to tell the uh, black dude, get out, get out. <laughs> bro, you suckers need to get out. I don't know what spell these suckers got you under, bro. Wake the freak up, man. The same stuff that we have been talking about since the xbox one started back in what 2013 or 14 bro we in 2023 now 10 over 10 years later we're talking about the same stuff the same stuff the same stuff the same stuff what do y'all feel like uh xbox needs to do because again in my opinion this goes way deeper than phil spencer you you can replace phil spencer all you want to you still got a whole list of issues that you need to address that hasn't been addressed in over 10 plus years now what do y'all feel like xbox needs to do as a brand what do y'all feel like all about this stuff that's been going on with them uh, recently with, you know, them complaining about the Hi-Fi Rush sales and Redfall being completely garbage and the whole Activision deal might fall, might fall uh, through. Them suckers just throwing out money to devs and we don't even see games from these suckers in five plus going six, seven plus eight years now. What do y'all feel like Xbox needs to do? Seriously, like, like, it's easy to slander Xbox. I can slander Xbox all day long. <laughs> I really can. But I, I, I don't want to anymore. This junk is getting old. What do y'all feel like Xbox needs to do? What do y'all feel like about all this stuff that's been going on with Xbox as of late? Y'all leave y'all thoughts and comments down in the comments section below. Xbox, I swear if I see you suckers trying to defend any of this stuff that's been going on right now, I'm blocking you. I am no longer 
interested in debating with with delusional fanboys i am 31 years of age if you don't get it you're blocked <laughs> <laughs> I'm done with it, bro. I I, I don't want to see no Xbox defending anything. You can't. You simply can't. I'm freaking losing my voice. I'm losing my voice. Only, you, you know, I guess the good thing that comes out of this is when every time I talk about Xbox, I get passionate. <laughs> so I guess this is a good thing that's coming about out of this. But yeah, y'all leave your thoughts and comments down in the comment section below. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Till the next video, my brothers and sisters. I'll catch y'all boys in my next one, all right?